All right, I guess this is part two because I was so dumb when I was uh, manipulating everything here. I put it on, I stopped it. So, you know, whatever. Fucking these smart phones are nice. If you're dumb like me, then they're as dumb as me, right? The user makes the item the same level as, as the user, right? Okay. So anyway, so what I kind of like about this reproduction is you got this leather little clasp here to help tighten it and hold it. Um, on the original, all you have is this lace, right? So, eh, big deal, whatever. Um, so inside of here, I put a patrol bag with the compression bag. Alright, there you go. Finally got that shit out. Um, so, inside, you don't really see... You don't see a liner. So that's what's kind of nice about the reproduction. It's got a nice liner inside. Um, what they are missing on the reproduction is... See these little sleeves here? This is where I can put um, tent poles, you know, for the uh, shelter half. I can put those inside there and make this completely rigid. You don't really need it. You can use it. I've used it. The main problem I have is my fucking little... Um, poles fall out when I'm not, you know, like opening it up or stuff like that. <laughs> it does help a little bit, not that much. Um, but you can take a look here. Uh, and the only other thing I could say with not having a liner is you can access some of the stuff inside if you need to replace a, you know, one of these button grommets or something like that um, this stuff is it, it's easily accessible I mean with this I'd have to if one of these grommets or whatever popped out I'd have to cut open this liner so I could get in there and replace it now this is made very well and I like it um, is it my only real issue with the re that is the colors. I mean, it, the reason I made this is, oh, it's an iconic um, backpack. So why not mirror the colors on it and stuff like that? Okay, whatever. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I, I, I kind of, you know, and this doesn't kill me that they have white for the uh the top <laughs> but why not make it you know one of those uh green colors and things like that so anyway guys um the only other thing the reason i don't I, I i love it but i don't like it is that they in my opinion they should have um copied the M51, not the M53. This is M53. The M51, so where the attachments for the straps are on the side. So what's nice about that on the side is, you know, somebody big like me, I'm, I'm about six feet tall, uh, 215 pounds. Um, <clears throat> where this is, sometimes it kind of digs into my back. Now, you're not supposed to carry heavy stuff in here because they're so small. But it's it's kind of irritating when I'm wearing this, right? So, you know, and what's the difference with the M51 versus the M53 is really 
So you see how this is kind of shaped around here? On the original M51 that came two years earlier, it's just kind of square and it's not gusseted over here on the tops like you see on these. Um, so in some ways that's kind of nice because you can put stuff under here like your jacket or whatever it is, coat. And um, I mean, downside is, you know, I mean, with this formed more, it kind of looks nicer. But for comfort wise, why not put these damn attachments over to the side? Yeah, maybe if you're a smaller person, that works right. Um, yeah, I'm not even that huge. But uh, I don't care for it as much as the M51. And that's why this has been in storage for fucking ever. And I use the M51 all the time. I bought this simply because it was on eBay. And even though it costs more than the clearance, I knew that I would get it faster than buying it uh, online from Winchester. Uh, so let's take a look real quick at these straps. So... Um, with the original Swedish ones, you see here, you got this finished, um, strap is facing inside. And so I think the main reason is, you know, you're going to sweat and stuff like that. They're trying to protect the leather on the inside and you have the unfinished on the outside. When you look at this reproduction... They're looking a little bit more for the way that it looks. So now they have the finished side outside where you're going to see it when you're wearing it. Versus on the issue one where the finished is on the inside. So you see that? So you can still protect this. You can either put... Uh, scotch guard or you know like me i i i spray some uh stuff on there to kind of protect it you know like say like lexol um i also use some other um some wax type of stuff on there like open offs type of thing um which I put on the finished side, obviously not on the kind of like suede or new book side. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up waxing this. I'll probably end up waxing this as well. I really, I, I like the color on this. It's not, I don't like it as much as the color on this. It's, they're both, in my opinion... Very handsome backpacks. So, if you have any questions here, thanks a lot for me rambling about this bullshit. But uh, if you're watching this far, you give a shit about some of this stuff. So, if you got any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. You have a good day. Bye-bye.